the human the human race had a had a, a collision <laughs> and it seemed to be a pretty big collision and uh, it's got a memory problem which we discovered yesterday it's, it can have serious seeming consequences this uh, memory problem wow. by taking such a powerful mind and focusing on a mistake instead of focusing on the correction and reliving that mistake over and over and over like Groundhog Day. The sleeping son of God had a mind injury. <laughs> there was a collision somewhere supposedly and there's a mind injury going on here and there's a memory problem, distorted memory. Um, there's definitely some amnesia going on uh, with, with the human race. It's like an amnesia of love. We get little flickers coming through, but it's not enough to break through the, the what seems to be a pretty total amnesia, because love doesn't really come in bits and pieces. It's, it's an eternal state of mind. So if we're not aware of it, then that's, that's the amnesia. Human beings don't like hurt and anger and injury. They, they want to stay in pleasantries <laughs> and make it all nice. But it doesn't always heal things when we try to make it all nice. Even if we had a wound on our skin and we, we were so concerned about the wound that we said, I'm just going to protect that, I'm going to put a cast <laughs> on it. <laughs> this overprotection would what? It would, it would prevent it from healing because it would prevent the oxygen, it would prevent the sunlight, it would prevent the scab from forming if you put a tight cast on the top of a wound. And that's emotionally what is going on with relationships a lot of times is we're, we're so concerned about losing the love or making waves or causing ripples in relationship that we, we cover over, we protect. And that's what's going on with the human condition, the human race. Everybody's so concerned about disturbing someone else, that they're pleasing and adapting and adjusting and they're, it's like that, that uh, old story about uh, the emperor who has no clothes on. It takes a little child to finally go, he's not wearing any clothes, when everyone else in the society is playing the game pretending that we're not going to say anything about him being naked. It's not good to talk about naked. <laughs> so they pretend that he's okay, you pretend he's normal. And there's a lot of pretending things are okay, things are normal, and there's not a lot of acknowledgement about the seeming separation from God or the fall from grace. There's just, there's a lot of positive thinking, almost as if we put enough creamy white icing on top of this <laughs> fall from grace that maybe it'll go away, you know. And what we realize is we, we have to start exposing in a very direct, open way. Did anybody see the movie Invention of Lying? Yeah. The characters in the Invention of Lying, they cannot, um, they, they, they have to speak their thoughts. And so everybody is candid. You can imagine that what, what that would do to dating and everything else <laughs> if you went on the first date and you, it's almost like you had dating Tourette's <laughs> where you have to speak all of your thoughts on the date without censorship. The reason that there's so much hiding that's going on is because people don't want to reveal these attack thoughts that are still in there. They feel like that's not going to help the relationship and it's not going to help you get a second date. If you, if you reveal your attack thoughts on the first date, don't expect to get a phone number or a call back. No call back. You, oh, I'm going to reveal my shadow on the first date. People don't do that. But that's kind of the human condition of a lot of hiding and protecting that's going on. So we need to be authentic. We really need, it's too much pressure in trying to hold back and hold it in. And it's more like saying to yourself and to your brothers and sisters, can we not agree that we need healing? Can we not agree that we shouldn't hide and protect these dark thoughts? Because how are we going to learn they're not real 
if we keep pretending they are and, and hiding them because we believe they're real. How are, how are we ever going to have a, a free mind? Did you ever play, what was that, um, that movie, Ghost in the Graveyard? It was a movie, it was a, it was a game we played, but at the end it was Ali Ali income free. Everyone comes in free at the end. Everybody can stop the hiding. That's really when we're asking the Holy Spirit to flood us today, that's what the Holy Spirit's saying. Ali Ali income free. Everybody comes in free. I'm not holding anything against you. Nothing you've ever said or done is held against you. It's time that we can just stop the game. And if we could do that in our relationships, imagine somebody's just blown up at you and they're this and this and, and they're just screaming and everything and you just go, Oh, bravo! That's just so good! That just is the best angry, evil, raging person I've ever seen. Oh, come on, everybody, let's everybody give a hand there. You know, but imagine that you actually could do that. And imagine how you would set everyone free. You would, you would set the captives free with that, if nobody took it seriously. So, because really what you're doing, like I said, if you start to see that there's not really an external world, it's just your thoughts, Imagine you could say that to those raging thoughts. Hmm, thank you for sharing. Ooh, good villain. It's not, not me, <laughs> but it's a good villain. I don't buy it, but it's a good villain. You know, there's a, there's a freeing. You're releasing the hold that your mind has had. It's, it's a joke, yeah. It's a joke. Facade. Yeah. Wow. Jesus even uses the word joke in A Course in Miracles. It's fun to hear joke, the word joke, come from Jesus Christ. He says, is it, it is a joke to think that time could come to circumvent eternity. You see, his, his happiness is always coming from an eternal state of mind. That's what makes it a joke, is that that parenthesis in eternity that Joel Goldsmith talked about. You can't put a parenthesis in eternity. It's a joke to think you can try to circumscribe it.